we're going to divide decimals and we are going to first start by dividing decimals by whole numbers. So your steps right here are to set up a long division problem, divide, and then place the decimal in the quotient directly above the decimal and the dividend. So let's look through this guided practice problem together. So we're going to set up a long division problem and we're going to put 18 and 45 hundredths on the inside and the five on the outside. And let's just divide just as if the decimal was not there for the time being. So five cannot go into one, but it goes into 18 three times. We will subtract and bring down. Five goes into 34 six times. Subtract and bring down. And then five goes into 45 nine times. So we have our answer, but we have to move that decimal up. So like it said, place it directly above. So you are going to just take this decimal and move it straight up. So it's really important when you divide that the answers in your quotient go where they need to go in terms of place value on that top of that bar. So this answer is three and 69 hundredths. So we're going to do a few problems together. Um, if you are ready to try one on your own, you can pause this video. You can pause it at any time and work through things on your own and then follow back up with the video to check your answers. So we're going to do eight and 73 hundredths divided by nine. Nine cannot go into eight. It goes into 87 nine times minus 81. We are going to subtract and bring down and nine goes into 63 seven times. And that's it. So we're going to take this decimal here, slide it right up. So our answer is 97 hundredths. The next one, eight and 58 hundredths divided by 12. 12 cannot go into eight, but it can go into 85 and it goes into 85 seven times. Seven times 12 is 84. We're going to subtract and bring down. 12 goes into 18 one time. Now we are not going to have remainders here. So we're going to continue dividing. And in order to continue dividing, you need to extend the number inside here, add a zero to the back of it. Remember with a decimal, you can add as many zeros as possible and it will be it's still the same number. So we'll drop down the zero and then we have 60, 12 goes into 65 times and our answer is zero at the bottom. So we'll pull this decimal up, add it right here and our answer is going to be 715 thousandths. Okay, this next, next example over here, we have 45 and 73 hundredths divided by two. And I can tell you that because I know my division rules, I know that this is not going to go in perfectly because the last digit is a three and three is not divisible by two. So this gives you a hint that we're gonna probably have to add some zeros onto the end there. So two goes into four two times, subtract, bring down. Two goes into five two times, subtract, bring down. Two goes into 17 eight times, subtract, bring down. Two goes into 13 six times, subtract. Now there's nothing to bring down, but again, we can add that zero. We can extend this line. We'll bring the zero all the way down. And now we have 10. Two goes into 10 five times nice and evenly. So that's gonna be it for us. Let's find this decimal in the middle of all this. We're gonna bring it straight up. So your quotient is 22 and 865 thousandths. All right, last one. Eight and 652 thousandths divided by eight. Eight goes into eight, of course, one time. We're going to subtract and bring down. Um, I always see confusion here. Um, if there's a six and you've brought the number down already, 
No, eight cannot go in there, but that does not mean bring down another number. That means you actually say it can go in zero times. So you'll subtract zero, bring down, um, subtract six minus zero, bring down the five, and then you have 65 divided by eight. Eight goes in there eight times. Eight times eight is 64. Subtract, bring down. Eight goes into 12 once. Subtract. We need to add the zero and extend over here. Bring all the way down and eight goes into 40 five times. Float the decimal up. Goes all the way in the front of this number. And your answer is one and 815 ten thousandths. So here's the whole page if you need to look at it again, copy anything down. And then we are going to move on to dividing decimals by decimals in the next video.